What is up friends, followers, and people just finding out now about the New World Diet. We've had three candidates to of course replace the standard American diet. Keto, carnivore, and vegan. Now, out of each of those three diets, I've actually been the moderator for each of the preliminary debates and the qualifier. Throughout that experience, I cannot hold my tongue any longer. The inconsistencies and issues with each of these three diet candidates is glaring. So with that, last week, I put in my notice to become the fourth party candidate that is running. And there, at this debate, January 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern, I will be revealing my new diet plan. Now this diet plan is unlike any other. It is 100% for men. It includes all of the foods, strategies, meal plans, and content and awareness that you will need to boost things such as testosterone, minimizing things like cortisol, normalizing things like estrogen, also taking on some neurotransmitter hormones and other signaling molecules such as dopamine, serotonin, prolactin, all of these things are so important and I'm only scratching the surface on all of the different hormones which we must optimize as men to be the best version of ourselves. So with my diet, I will be revealing how you can balance and optimize all of these hormones easily, straight to the point, easy for you to understand, easy for you to implement and get the most benefits in the shortest amount of time. So if you want to get the first look at my diet, 100% for men, how to boost things such as testosterone and normalize all of your other hormones to ensure you're the best version of yourself as a man, then you must join us January 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there, I will join in on the debates and break down why each keto, vegan, carnivore is not for men long-term at all. There's a lot of risk factors that come with each of them. And I'm sure you watching this right now, you're not 100% in any of those camps keto, carnivore, or vegan. You may already know that these diets are way too extreme. Not being able to give people and deliver consistent results in the long term, especially as a man. So now we're going to roll some of the clips from the preliminary debates that I've had to listen through and try my best to moderate so you can see how insane these candidates truly are. Started off Houston won the coin toss, so we will throw it to Houston first. And my question to Houston is, why do you despise carbohydrates as a keto party candidate? Well, son, carbohydrates are, are more or less, they're like the devil. And what most people don't understand, there, there was a saying, I don't know, years ago, if you eat fat, it turns into fat. Well, that's totally wrong. I mean, that's there was confusion running amok. It's carbs that turn into fat. You eat carbs, turn into sugar. Sugar turns into fat. You don't burn the sugar. Guess what? You, Mr. Plumpy all of a sudden. So that is my take on the carbs is, is just bottom line. They're from the demons, but they taste pretty good. What would you say, uh, Mr. Kip, with your lambs? What do you? What are your thoughts on carbs? Because we just found out from Houston here what what he said. What's your rebuttal to this? Houston, I have to disagree with that one, bro. Like carbohydrates provide energy and sustenance, man. You get your carbohydrates out in nature, man. You're out there in your farm. You know, you just pick some sweet potato. You know, you grow some vegetables. You know, you grow some peppers. Oh my gosh, I love bell peppers, man. So you just make like all these veggies and you like make them all into like a stir fry and you get like good carbs, man. You know, I'm not eating those big fancy carbohydrates that you get from all these foods, like all these fried foods and like all these different like, you know, unhealthy combinations. I make my own carbohydrates, man. I get them from nature, man. Are you denouncing those 
members in your party that essentially just eat Oreos and Skittles and other vegan sweets. Those guys, you know what? I think they're doing a great thing for the for the animals, man. But, you know, when it comes to their health, man, if they just live off the land, you know, and eat those nutrient-dense foods from the soil, man, then they're going to be doing a lot better with their health and they're not going to be so overweight. They're going to be nice and skinny like me and my friend on the farm. Uh, Nosama, throwing it to you, why is it that all the other panelists throw in carbs, at least in some fashion, but for you, it's zero carb? Um, first of all, uh, I would like you to stop uh, dissing my accent. I, I notice you try to, um, it, it is not, uh, <clears throat> don't do this. It is against uh, my community. Uh, don't do it. Look, maybe Houston Hardick is having a racist, contagious disease. And everybody become racist in this panel. Please refrain. Second thing, I love all before people. I answer. What do you say, sheep man? What I do you love say? all people. All people, man. All people, races, all animals. I love them all, man. All equally. Andre, can you take points off this motherfucker? Because it he interrupted me. Oh, yes. Minus... Uh, two vegan points. You may oh. proceed, Nosama. You have the floor. <laughs> uh, so, second thing before I answer, I have received uh, support from celebrities in America. Uh, you know, as American, there is guy Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan? Rogan? I don't know. Uh, Joseph, uh, he, he is doing carnivore in the past. And this month, January, he is doing carnivore. I saw YouTube video, his podcast, his photos. He looking a lean, muscular guy. No bloating, no, no fat, nothing. So Joe Rogan has endorsed Nosama. Uh, 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 second. There are two doctors. Joe Rogan, not a doctor. He talked to doctor. He think he's doctor, but he's not doctor. Two doctors. It's Dr. Paul Saladino. He support me also. And uh, Dr. Sean Baker. Both carnivore, hardcore carnivore. Me carnivore since birth. But they are carnivore uh, maybe 10 years, 5 years, 20 years, something. They have both endorsed no sama all right guys after looking at those clips i'm sure you probably had a laugh or two but the truth is it's quite sad these people are so extreme so dogmatic with their views that they're throwing out a whole 80 percent of the toolbox some of them each are right in their own way but when taken to the extreme you're not going to be benefiting as a man long term. I can't wait to see you there January 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern, where I will be revealing my diet against all three of the other candidates, keto, vegan, and carnivore. Now, make sure you reserve your seat by filling out the survey below. And there, once you're able to join us, you'll be able to come on live and ask any of the panelists any questions you have. Also, be sure you join the Facebook group where we're already discussing many of these points. The candidates are in there, myself, I'm in there, actively participating in all of these discussions and showing exactly how to boost things such as testosterone and being the best version of yourself as a man, period. Once again, I will see you there January 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern. We will talk soon. Peace.